What's up everyone? I'm Lauren and welcome to From the Start. We are at the Chalet Studios here in Los Angeles and we are talking to local indie trio, The Bomb. So let's go check them out. Thank you guys yeah. for coming by. Thank you. Seriously, you rock. I'm Lauren Zimsky. Six years ago, I gave up my nine to five to open up The Firefly, my dream restaurant in Boca del Toro, Panama. Since then, we have been consistently rated one of the top restaurants in the area. I wasn't ever really expecting to consult for other people, but I think that we've made an impression and people think that what we did was really super cool, so they have been coming to me. And now I've been creating menus all over Central America. I'm on a mission to help aspiring restaurant owners and existing restaurant owners explore their paradise and create amazing dishes for their menus that'll help keep these tourists coming back for more. Okay, so the Caribbean lobster, look at this. They don't have the claws, so all the meat's in the tail. Uh. <laughs> keep it as a pet, do you wanna hold it? <laughs> this fruit is called jackfruit, check it out. You can cook it in the same spices that you would be for pork. Okay, it's a little and lighter it than mimics okay. the flavor. I love produce shopping. It's like better than clothes shopping for me. So we're looking for the perfect bunch of plantains. Yeah. This bunch over here looks good. Let's do this. Ready? My machete skills. Ooh, did you hear that noise? <laughs> yeah. Hold that right there. All right. All right. Get it. There oh, we go. Nice. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah, these look good. I can't wait to use them. Ah, me too. Chocolate actually grows on a tree. It's a fruit, this pod. You would have no idea looking at it that that's where chocolate comes from. The seed is inside here. After it ferments, the white part goes away and you're left with this. I will bathe in chocolate. I will rub chocolate on my skin. Next up, we're making a play on a Tex-Mex yellow rice incorporating Costa Rican spices. We've got this oil and we're just gonna throw in some aromatics. Chopped white onion and some chopped garlic. Let that saute for a minute. This is where we bring in our annatto paste. We're just gonna take a little bit of this. Just kind of stir this in. It's right? Smelling really good. Yeah. It does smell good. You, get, you smell that kind of pepperiness. Yep. Yeah. It looks like Tex-Mex already. There you go. It's really simple. Cook the rice in a rice cooker until it's done. Then add the oil to the rice, stir it until it's all incorporated, and then voila, you have this beautiful reddish yellow rice that you would have no idea was not Tex-Mex rice. All of this has got me thinking and wanting to try, and yes. I'm yeah. like a proud Amy. mama, <laughs> sending you off into the world. Yes. <laughs> Let's right. go back and cook these, huh? Right. You're both going to be delicious. I don't take myself too seriously. Oh, you're packing heat. I came prepared. 